Harold's worst habit would definitely have to be um, her, how clean she is. She's like obsessive, with obsessed with cleaning. I cook as I clean, and he absolutely hates it. So that's one of his pet peeves for me. It's it's important. It's hygienic. So there's a difference between how often one should clean the kitchen and how often I do clean the kitchen. Uh, I think probably daily is best. Mold builds up quickly in a hot house, and I like a lot of heat. I think her and I both have a threshold for messiness, which is probably a little bit beyond standard threshold for messiness. I collect toys. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be one thing I'd say she wouldn't like me to have in the house or to throw out, but they're worth a lot of money, so I probably wouldn't. <laughs> He's a collector of um, toy statues, so I don't want to bring him in because there's so many of them, but he's insisting to have one, all of them in and having his own man cave. So we're going to have a few fights over that, I can see. I'm constantly making us breakfast in my underwear. Leah's a little bit more modest. <laughs> so all for nudity. <laughs> we should sit down and, and speak on that. Look, I don't think we'll be too scandalised if the other one does, does not have clothes on. I'm very excited to see him, obviously. But um, it's kind of like after work, you need your chill out time. Like, don't touch me or talk to me. And then we'll, we'll reconvene later and, and, and have fun. We can decorate the place the way we want. We can have the living space exactly the way we want it. We can have sex wherever. <laughs> Who doesn't hate that? Like, no one hates that, all right? Sometimes, I guess, when you get home from a really long day, it's great to have your partner there ready to listen. But other days, I guess, you want to come home and chill out and watch your favourite trashy TV show and eat bad food and no judgement, just be on your own. There are certain things that I like to do on my own just for five minutes here and there before bed or whatever and she's always just comfortably given me that space but I think if we ever needed to speak about it and, and ask for that, that that would just come pretty naturally. Mm. Sounds like you guys are very good at communicating. <laughs> well, we're lesbians. <laughs> it's true. <laughs>